Hey, what's good, guys? So today I uh, already put a video up about the uh, generate random events with the CV gates out. And um, I think that's really, really cool because it records the events and you can go to other MIDI gear and do the same thing out and kind of tune your sound or what, however you want to use that. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. It, it's real fast. It's only like four minutes long. Excuse me, but check this out. I wanted to go over the ARP, uh, the ARP on here, and how to configure it. So what you do, you just go to your menu, and you're at uh, I'm sorry, your mixer, and you go to your plugin, and you load whatever plugin you want, of course. And then we're gonna go to track edit and mess with our sound. For this sound, I'm using the warm piano stack. And for my ARP, if you hit shift and ARP, you gotta hold down shift. This shift button should have been like a gold or yellow button because you'll use this for a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't wanna get sidetracked, but you can hold down shift and launch and affect the whole row of how long you want it and there's all kinds of different shift shortcuts which should be uh, a good tutorial video actually so what I'm gonna show here and I don't know if you can see it too well on the screen but uh, I'm gonna kinda zoom in here a little bit probably doesn't make it any better Uh, yeah, and, and my camera's lame, but um, what it says here is art pattern, up, down. It can go note, repeat, ends. So I'm just going to take, set this for, right now it's not enabled. So if I hit enable, now I got this pretty cool little arp going. Time division, 1 16th. I like that. The note length is at 50. That's cool with me. Velocity from the first note, the swing. Um, pattern up, down up. Let's see what happens if you hold three or more notes. This is up, down, repeats, ends. Down, up. Up, down. Down, up, so you got up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, repeat ends, down, up, repeat ends, thumb up, thumb down. Dude, there's a lot. Okay. Play as reversed. I'm just going to go back here to... Uh... Wow, you can do random. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go to up. Up, down. My octaves. Now I'm going to go through three different octaves. I mean, isn't that dope? You can go to four octaves. I think two. And then you got the different variations. So, I mean, if you're looking for a loop or something like that, man, you go back here to, uh, let's see, menu, track edit, and change your sound. Let's see if you like that. Real nice and easy to make a good loop here. 
And I just thought I would share that, man, because it is so cool. I'm going to back this off so you can kind of see what notes I'm hitting and stuff. If you hit more than one note, just keep it. It's going to sequence all these notes. It's just so good. Uh, let's keep going. Let's go back to the ARP. And if we hold ARP, now we got it on. But if we hold Shift and ARP, now we can go back to configure it. We're going to go instead of up, down. It's really nice. Change the variations. Sorry about the camera, guys. But I'm just trying to get the point across, alright? <laughs> I guess being able to see would help out a lot but um, again I, I don't have the I just want to show the variations and stuff like that and different things you can do you can even hook up a sustain pedal to this to where it'll hit the ARP on and off for you if you want and you can also do latch notes so if you just want to walk away and say you want to play um, let's see play one three five let's go so now you can walk away and you know what I mean you can go to a different pattern or whatever you want uh, I just think it's so helpful uh, it's I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use it in my setup but just super awesome guys and I thought I would share that so uh, yeah I'm all over this thing so whenever that's crazy uh, but yeah the uh, generate random events is totally different than what I was showing in my last video I went to um, my mixer and I hit a CV and then you go to so I probably forgot how to do it already. It's actually pretty different uh, in my step sequencer. I think I hit shift step as played. Yeah, it's in my other video. I did it as a melodic dilly bop. And then on my step sequencer. Yeah, see how the hell did I do that? Anyway, um, if you haven't seen that, go back on my last video where I generate random events on can't believe I can't do that <laughs> anyway guys thank you very much I appreciate you and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel leave a comment uh, if there's something I can do to better the videos just let me know other than getting a camera I am working on it so I'll hug you guys later I appreciate it and thank you very much All right, real quick, I remember now. Um, instead of the ARP that we were doing, now we're going to do Generate Random Events. I'm going to a new track. I'm going to make it a CV. Go over here to uh, my clip. I got it all set the way that I want it. Um, I'm going to go to Step. Okay, we got that. Now, why did I remember? And now I forgot. I must show you guys this again because repetitive for me is it's, it's good. Create new clip. We're in the clip. And here we're going to hit event and then this little edit button. Double speed events and all that stuff. You can humanize, generate random events, blah, 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 blah. Do it. Now we got different events and so we can launch this. And if anything played would be super cool it's actually going into my Behringer
which is right over here. Pretty dope. Anyway guys, that's what I wanted to share and I shared it right on.